So I said that I wanted to play on my Hardcore Iron Man account again, and I made a couple episodes, and that was maybe like over a month ago, and I kind of stopped, I just played on my main account. Well, I actually didn't stop on this account at all, I think the last episode had 86 farming, which already went from like 70 something to 86, and now from 86 to almost 91. That's what I've been doing, I had to get rid of all the herb seeds. I wanted to get my herb lord up to Sara Bruce. It's probably gonna be still missing like a couple levels, but I have no more to herb seeds, as you can see. I had like 300 iron seeds. There's still torso, it doesn't matter. There's still toad flags. I can't make the bruise yet, so it doesn't matter as well. So the only ones that I have left is these almond toes. This is what I have at the moment. It's, it's not that much, okay? But there is a lot of grimy iron, and there's, you know, there, we have some dwarf weed, we have some lantodime. Let's make all the potions right now. Current herbal level is 67. My prediction that is gonna go to 74, and I need 78. Also, I didn't include the cleaning. How much do you get from, let's say, iron? Because I have a lot of these. Nine. So that's like three 30k XP. I'm gonna get a herb level just from that. Okay, last inventory, 50k XP gained in total just by doing this. Okay, so after this, I'm still gonna do one more trip. I'm currently telegrabbing one of Zamorak. This one is very simple. You may not know what the location is, certainly I didn't because I, I you know, even on White Cat, I would just kill stuff, you know. There's some monsters that actually drop Zami Wines, like Calphite Queen. There's one at the bottom, this is a more familiar place for you, but they changed a long time ago, but i never been to this place. Apparently, if you telegram this wine, it will still damage you. The damage will come from the wine, not from the monk. They are very low level. Now, it does take some time to get to the place. I'm currently using the Falador teleport, and something that you can do to minimize that is to bring a wilderness bag. You can, it's very close to wilderness ditch, and you can just hop over, put everything. It's like an extra inventory that you can have. I usually don't mind risking in wilderness on hardcore, but I feel like... I don't want to do it when I have no food and the gear is very minimal on defense. You see, look, the ditch is right here. This would be so nice. Look, I just don't want to do it. I saw some clip of a guy dying like this and you can easily scout because I don't look who's under me. Maybe someone logged in and he's waiting. Oh, there's, the, you know, but also you have to be very level specific as it's level one wilderness, but it is multi as far as I can tell and yeah. Okay, let's make these potions. It should get me to 75. All right, 75 herb lords. So two more until I can make Saradomin brews. I could actually make from 76, but then, you know, you need spicy stews, which is definitely not something I'll be using since I, I can make thousands of them. I have a lot of bird nests in the bank. You know, let me finish. Use Wait, how much XP until? Oh, 125k. I, uh, it's gonna be so close. Actually, no. Let's see. What do I have? I have the Lantadime. I still have some Avento. Okay, so I ran out of Greenman's Ale, almost finished with all the potions. It's actually going to be a level if I combine it with other unfinished potions. Now, I haven't checked the wiki for this, but as far as I remember, the best place to buy the Greenman's Ale, unless they added something else, is in this shop. They have five in stock, and you can hop worlds. Oh, they have that option. How many contacts have completed? 270. Okay. Now, these mahogany trees are insanely good. I think they're very cheap in the Grand Exchange. So, for 2,300, they give 15k farming experience. The problem with them is that they take three days to grow. So, because of that, I have made a nature amulet. Because sometimes, I don't know, has it been two days, has it been three days? But you can rub the amulet and it will tell the stage. Usually, it says like six out of nine stage. So, you know, oh, it's been like a couple days now. But currently it says that my patch has fully grown. Also I have a bunch of spirit tree seeds as well. So normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm going to check the health for 19k experience. And I'm going to dig it out for a new one. It's a nice teleport, but you know, I can... Oh no, I don't think I can do this. I think I need 91 and I forgot to take the... Yeah. Look at these beautiful three trees. 15k XP each. Oh, that's that's how I gained most of my farming experience. You saw I got a dragon fruit from one of those contracts. Well, we get a bunch of palm tree seeds, magic seeds. It's very quick. It's not just from Herblor that I got from low 80s or whatever I was at the time. The problem is that if you don't have any mahogany seeds left because they're quite rare as I try to plant them as fast as I get them, you have to do teaks, and they only give like 7k XP, and you still have to wait 3 days. I don't know how, but farming is my highest level on this account. It's been for 4 levels now or so. I can, I don't need to boost for spirit trees anymore. 
It's crazy. Like on my main account, I had like 97 for the longest time, but how I did it was with trees. It is so super fast. I never thought I could just get it from simple contracts. They don't give that much XP. All right, here we go. One more level, 139k XP. Now I almost completely ran out of these unfinished potions, but I do have these marks of grace. I can trade them in for amylase. And since I'm now 76 herb lord, I can boost it to 77 and make stamina potions. Okay, I don't know if I calculated correctly, but I should be making like 320 stamina pots. Now I'm also wondering if you buy any of them, does it increase in price? I hope not. 10 okay it doesn't even decrease it's so fast but what if i buy five? Oh, there we go it's still 10 all of them i don't need them anymore i have full graceful so that's fine okay let's open these look at that 1400 amylase crystals also i have a bunch of super energy so it's not a problem at all okay let's see how much xp all of those crystals will give currently at 138k oh dude stamina pots on hardcore already and almost sarah bruce too Oh my god, look at all these stamina pots. I only made them for Herbalot experience, but man, I can finally start. If I need to run somewhere, I can just drink it. But if you look at all of these unfinished potions, I don't have that much left. Yeah, sure, I can make like, you know, telegraph some more wines, but it doesn't matter. I'm still off 100k Herbalot experience. This is what I want to train a little bit of Slayer, maybe do some contracts. I still have like 20 Avento seeds as well. So it's going to be very easy to get to those Sarah Bruce then... Uh, it, it opens so many possibilities. You can do like after I get my stats up a little bit. Okay. See how many coins I have. 3.7 million. How many Yule Longbows? Uh, these need to be stringed. I have still flags. For, so I can turn all of them into bowstring. It's no problem. Also got 2.7k in my inventory. And also later. This is why I want to do Slayer. If I get any Kura's task. I will get a lot of flags. And this is going to be. A bunch of money as well by the way don't talk too much about goals in this account but i do have them i just want to get my stats up a little bit you know my defense my hp everything especially now since almost santa bruce are unlocked is going to be more into i don't want to say end game because you look at these stats and it's like yeah but it's okay because i still need to get to 87 slayer to get trident also at 85 there's going to be abyssal whip so i i don't think it's going to be that slow okay so i out most of the longbows right now i got 6.1 million cash stack and i also got these magic logs but i need at least level 80 fletching to make short bows but i still need one level to make them i attach the bowstring to the longbows i don't have anything anymore no logs nothing however i googled you can make the dragon fruit pies and you can boost your fletching by three so I'll be able to make it, but I don't have any flags at the moment, so it would be useless. So initially I wanted to go and burst with all the money that I have right now on monkeys, but I feel like that would be a waste, because I want to get higher max hit with Trident once I get it, but I'm still 8 levels off, and once I get to level 80 Slayer, I will get those Necreals, which will be amazing to burst. There's also Dust Devils, which I didn't burst before, but yeah, I think that would be a better way to do this. Faster Slayer XP, faster Magic experience. So I'm wondering what that 6 million would actually get me to. Maybe 91? We got it. 220 Necreal. Oh, dude, this is going to be an amazing task. It happened so quickly. I just got a 220 Necreal task. I just got to level 80 Slayer. Completed maybe like three tasks. So now it is time to buy a lot of Burst Runes because eventually I want to use all my cash stack on it. And I will get Alcables and stuff like this anyway. So I'll get some money back. One, two, three. And I'm going to keep the rest of the money since I may still need it because currently I'm on Ancients. So I cannot Alc anything. But look at this, dude. It's going to be a lot of magic experience eventually. Mm. No, I did not record this again. But as I was leaving, like as I need food, the, the hell spawn still hit you. I got rune boots, which is very nice. You need it for a cool scroll. Also, I realized I'm level 80 slayer. Hmm. It is possible to boost for that abyssal web. But I think currently it's not really worth it. Because every minute you have to eat a pie. Got a couple more rune boots. Look at all these alcables. 262k plus avento, torso, and snapdragon seed. Also some zami wines. Finally, don't have to telegram maybe. Okay, so it's been a while now. I'm almost getting to 82 slayer. But I am running out of cannonballs. Initially, I made 40,000. But I had 40. 8,000 in total. I used up all of them. And now I want to say that it's worth it. 
just because I forgot the tedious, extremely tedious process of buying coal and iron, and especially I did it without coal bag, and then you have to smelt them in the blast furnace, then you have to smelt them again into cannonballs. It was very nice to do certain tasks though. So certain monsters are too scattered the way like Ankus are not uh, that good for AFKing, let's say. They really actually have to touch you to be aggroed, while other monsters, I think like greater demons, they can aggro from like three tiles away. So, and also got from 78 to 83 and a half range. I, I didn't even notice that. I totally never looked at the range. I'm just looking at my Slayer level and my defense because that's what I'm training at the moment and I'm not potted. I also forgot to tell you that I got, I think from 56 to 68 smithing by making 40,000 cannonballs. But yeah, I'm kind of feeling the Ironman vibes again. Uh, this is, by the way, 10 hours since the last clip. Look at the Slayer level 82. Gained another 100k XP or so. Uh, would be nice to get Whip Trident. Then I can, you know, do Zelda and uh, keep upgrading the gear. So I may actually switch my focus to the Hardcore Ironman. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, actually. Haven't decided yet, but thank you for watching and bye.